The discoveries of the James Webb Telescope have sabotaged the case for the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope has just conveyed an outright exhilarating disclosure. It truly is sending shockwaves through the worldwide universe of material science. Through a single amazing photograph, it has obliterated extended standing discussions, leaving researchers significantly astonished. The age of hypothesis is over as Webb's most recent catch is both outwardly beguiling and a game-changer that contributes to reform our conviction. Impacting discussion among researchers, has this photo unequivocally prompted what strategies? Is the exquisite picture caught by the James Webb Space Telescope rethinking how we might interpret the universe? Go along with us as we see the reason why it is getting terrible as James Webb's finding closes the discussion in material science with a breaking picture. The fundamental trouble with astronomy is that researchers can't come to an arrangement about how old the universe is or how quickly it is growing. This unanswered peculiarity has perplexed researchers across ages, and they are doing various examination to find answers. Cosmology is the field of exploration that spotlights on understanding how the universe was made, the way things are assembled, and how it has changed over the long run and in the long run will end. This region has seen critical improvement in the beyond 100 years. The presently broad cosmology model, the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation, proposes that the universe had been extending from a hot and thick beginning state for around 13.8 billion years. This development is estimated through the Hubble constant, which shows the speed at which the universe is expanding. However, estimations of the Hubble constant are not unanimous. Estimating the Hubble constant might be broadly characterized into two gatherings, close-by estimations and early universe estimations. Close-by estimations include the investigation of the galactic collections of the universe. For instance, Cepheid variable stars and type IIA cosmic explosion act as standard candles to gauge the Hubble constant. Because of their brilliance, stargazers can gauge how the universe's extension influences the velocities of these items to find their distances and thusly ascertain the Hubble constant. The subsequent gathering is the estimation of the early universe. Researchers use perceptions of the inestimable microwave foundation radiation, CMB, the luminosity of the huge explosion found during the 1960s. The CMB mirrored the microwave radiation of the early universe when it was only 380,000 years old. By estimating the little temperature and polarization swells emanated by the CMB, space experts can lay out the age of the universe and its pace of development. Yet, here's the issue. The consequences of these two strategies don't associate. The outcome found through close-by estimations affirms that the universe is extending quicker than what we gauge in light of CMB information. Because of these distinctions, researchers have been endeavoring to find the reason behind the outcomes. Further research is being led to learn more about the secrets of the universe. As things stand, the distinction in estimations proposes that there is either new science we have near zero insight into or mistakes in one or the two techniques. Because of the James Webb Space Telescope, we can see into the dull universe more clear than at any other time. The telescope can uncover the slightest and most far-off components, planets, and worlds we wouldn't have thought possible to see due to its abilities. Researchers naturally expected that information from the JWST would help us in definitively computing the Hubble constant. However, the primary flood of information has surprisingly made matters more complex. They have given us new bits of knowledge that are not intelligible with what we thought we knew. Might this information at some point lead to another hypothesis and upset how we contemplate space? Provided that this is true, we'd have to audit how we might interpret how the universe works. For instance, we may find particles and forces that have never been noticed, or it might address that dull energy, an unexplored world component answerable for the speeding up extension of our universe, should be reconsidered. To date, the manners in which we think about space have evolved as we proceed to find new things. For instance, in 1965 when analysts found the grandiose microwave foundation radiation, it filled in areas of strength for as for the thought of the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation. Previously, researchers believed that the universe was everlasting. Subsequently, it was dependably expanding at a uniform rate. However, new proof demonstrated that was not true. Furthermore, when we found out towards the finish of the 1990s that the universe was constantly growing, we tracked down dim energy and its effect on the universe's development. 
Hence, like clockwork, we research something new. We question whether it squeezes into our current system. On the off chance that not, we think of new ways of understanding the universe better. To this end, the issue we are looking at in cosmology today could prompt the disclosure of the most significant answers for the universe. While the issue is intense, it is likewise invigorating since it propels us to grow more innovatively progressed devices to investigate space. This cosmological quandary likewise joins established researchers from various nations, as each researcher needs to find out about the universe. Above all, it shows that science is continually changing and creating as we become familiar with space. Alongside the Hubble strain, there's likewise a test called the SA strain that is in regards to the spatial dispersion of issue in the universe. This can be utilized to draw a principal image of the universe and perceive how it has developed. The stargazers allude to this peculiarity as unevenness because there are areas of room that have parts of worlds firmly assembled while other regions are inadequate. The researchers will utilize various techniques to quantify this unevenness. One way is to concentrate on how the light from far-off systems gets twisted by the extraordinary gravity of huge articles, for example system groups. This twist, called gravitational focal pointing, gives us a method for inspecting where the matter is made faint. This makes it invisible because it doesn't discharge light. Analysts additionally utilize the Infinite Microwave Foundation, CMB, a glimmer from the very beginning of the enormous explosion. This light has been moving for around 13.8 billion years, bearing data from the early universe. Through the CMB examination, physicists can decipher how the universe became knotty in its birth, which ought to match the observational unevenness of the universe right now for an enormous scope. Yet here is the trick. These outcomes too don't adjust the CMB's naughtiness. Given by the non-round gravity appropriation model, suggests that the matter dispersion at the beginning phase of the universe was more homogeneous compared to the one found utilizing gravitational lensing. As such, we can figure that there might be something else that we are not taking into account in the clarification. This takes us back to the possibility of dim matter. What explicitly is dim matter, and how does it capability the truth? The issue stays unanswered. Anyway, all trust isn't lost as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is set to reclassify the field of space science with its wonderful high goal and camera awareness. The telescope will inspect early periods of the universe and explore the first systems and stars framed. This makes it conceivable to further develop estimations of infinite development and matter dissemination. These basic inquiries will require explicit perception and conceivably new methods from a hypothetical point to sort them out. Whether or not the end-finding approach implies more significance to dull energy finding, totally new physical science, or in any event, acquiring a better comprehension of dull matter's conduct, the outcomes will be broad. Processing the secrets of the universe is like working out a zillion-piece puzzle blindfolded. Researchers might be viewed as intensive investigators who are centered around and energetic about addressing these secrets. The most recent undertaking called Project Flamingo is proof of NASA's increasing enthusiasm for logical investigation. Utilizing one of the world's most exceptionally acclaimed supercomputers situated at Durham College in England, Project Flamingo is a truly surprising accomplishment in the realm of computational development. It costs more than 50 million hours of PC time and highlights 30,000 processors and more. The activity highlights the logical local area's determination to investigate the universe thoroughly, significantly zeroing in on dim matter, the mysterious substance that neither produces, absorbs, nor mirrors light, deduced to exist due to its gravitational impact on apparent matter. The course of Project Flamingo isn't equivalent to past reenactments. It includes all potential types of astronomical components, from cosmic systems of the most extraordinary gas content to stars and dark openings at the center of the universe. Through this systematic methodology, the slow change in the portrayal of the universe was produced from a fundamental expanse of land sketch. The inspiration behind aggressive undertakings like Project Flamingo is clear. To explain astronomical structure, where estimations appear to be imperfect and don't squeeze into the design of the universe. This difference in estimations shows a critical getting in our ongoing wrong comprehension of the universe's functions. If these measurements can measure up to melodic kinds, they're like jazz and traditional, each having its own methodology. Although still related, 
Flamingo endeavors to join these different perspectives and hone our singular impression of the universe. However, regardless of its refinement, the inestimable pressure persevered. This strain proceeds to exist as lowering proof that we have but to settle a significant part of the mystery that encompasses us. The universe appears reluctant to impart its secrets to us very much like that. As we add each new information point and simulation model to our tool stash, like Flamingo, an increasingly huge new universe opens up with new difficulties to address. That is a ceaseless journey where each response prompts more inquiries, opening up a completely different layer of request. It shows us that the idea of our interest to settle the universe's secrets is complicated and ever-changing. Since the second Edwin Hubble made his noteworthy discovery of the expanding universe in the early 20th century, the speed of our appreciation has been astoundingly quick. Scientists are continuously making particular discoveries about the size of the world, including the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation, dark matter, and dark energy. They have researched the system by examining the inestimable microwave foundation, CMB, and meticulously recorded the system's positions and speeds at a perpetually refined degree. Every one of these achievements is like getting another critical piece of the astronomical puzzle. This has prompted us turning out to be more headed to learn and take a stab at a more profound comprehension of the universe. Indeed, the universe is covered in mystery, and it may be hazardous to uncover its real factors too early. At each analytical step, researchers added refined speculations, altered models, and intensively characterizing requests. The hypothesis placed by the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation was once very questionable, but it is now considered a critical piece of logical information. Today, similarly, dark matter is not a speculative idea but an undeniable key element of a vast riddle. The discovery of dark energy, an unknown power pushing the universe's development, was a late 20th century one and it is now one of the first essential bits of comprehension of the universe. Let us now take a deeper look at the different ways researchers have attempted to settle the puzzle of the expansion of the universe. Over the long haul, they have really buckled down, but some of the pieces just haven't made sense. Sometime in the past, it was by and large accepted that each article overhead, from the sun to the stars and all the planets, spun around the Earth. This geocentric view was challenged by the likes of Copernicus and Galileo, who held that the Earth and different planets moved around the Sun, thereby introducing a revolutionary perspective. Fast forward to the 20th century, when Einstein realized another revolutionary perspective about the physical world. He proposed a model where reality isn't separate substances but a four-layered structure called space-time, in which they are interwoven. His discoveries gave the universe a dynamic nature. In 1920, that's what Hubble's observations revealed. Worlds were creating some distance from each other, demonstrating that the universe was expanding. With this reality, scientists inferred the theory of prehistoric cosmic detonation, which suggests that the universe arose out of a tiny peculiarity and has been becoming more extensive since. At first, the idea that gravity would ultimately end the inflationary interaction was acknowledged. But astrophysicists found something during the 1990s that turned out to fundamentally be unexpected. Not exclusively is the universe expanding, but its expansion, too, accelerates. This surprising result made cosmologists concoct a hypothesis of dark energy, a mysterious, unpleasant force that pushes objects in the universe apart. The Flamingo Project emerged as a fundamental player in this field, providing more than just a typical supercomputer simulation. It presented a vivid virtual model of the universe using data from both the cosmic microwave background CMB, and observations of galaxies to construct a detailed representation of the cosmic structure. The primary goal was to investigate whether, given our current understanding of physics, the early universe could naturally evolve into the complex structure observed today. A striking feature of Flamingo is its consideration of both dark and ordinary matter in the simulated world. Unlike previous models that tended to ignore ordinary matter, this comprehensive approach allows us to understand how the universe functions considering its framework, engines, seats, and wheels. However, when it came to accommodating the clumpiness found in the CMB with that in the nearby universe, Flamingo fell short. Errors persisted between the universe's expansion rate and the distribution of matter, leaving astronomers grasping for explanations. 
differences persist between the cosmic expansion rate and the distribution of matter, prompting cosmologists to seek out alternative models. Some speculate that new physics and regulations that go beyond our current understanding need to be created to resolve the inconsistency. Some suggest that our measurements or understanding of dark energy may be flawed. S.A. Strain, therefore, is a regular example of a secret with the actual universe serving as the main puzzle to summarize everything the capabilities of the new telescopes. However, these models of the universe are undergoing significant challenges, possibly indicating a change in perspective where our theoretical foundations may require a review. These challenges are not accidents but rather signs directing us toward a deeper understanding. Each discovery is added to another, based on which scientists refine their ideas or hypotheses. Each new tension or inconsistency simply provides some insight that science and our understanding of the universe need to be corrected. At each step of our scientific journey to understand the universe, from Edwin Hubble's discovery of an expanding universe to the current explorations into dark matter and dark energy, we encounter new puzzles and complexities. These discoveries propel us forward, yet they also challenge our existing theories and models. The continuous refinement of our understanding is akin to assembling a grand puzzle with pieces that sometimes fit perfectly and other times require us to reconsider the entire framework. The quest to solve the mysteries of cosmic expansion and the nature of dark energy has led to ambitious projects like Flamingo, which uses state-of-the-art supercomputers to simulate the evolution of the universe. Despite its advanced capabilities, Flamingo, like previous models, faces discrepancies between observational data and theoretical predictions. This underscores the persistent gaps in our understanding and the need for innovative approaches to reconcile these differences. Furthermore, the universe reveals itself as resistant to simple explanations, pushing scientists to explore new physics and alternative hypotheses. These challenges compel us to refine our tools, theories, and measurements continually. Each anomaly or unexpected finding prompts a re-evaluation of our knowledge, urging us to uncover deeper truths about the cosmos. As we navigate through these complexities, the role of technology and computational power becomes increasingly crucial. Projects like Flamingo illustrate our commitment to pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration, leveraging vast computing resources to simulate cosmic evolution in unprecedented detail.